Let's go ahead and dive into a cool app for Chrome called Whiteboard. Now I'm gonna show you how to find Whiteboard and open it. Remember the shelf is that bar that runs along the bottom. Swipe up on the shelf and Whiteboard should be in there. Okay, it should already be installed for you. So it says Whiteboard, looks like a marker drawing on a Whiteboard. If you don't see Whiteboard, you might need to install it yourself. It's pretty easy to do. All you need to do is go to the Play Store looks like a Dorito chip, right? Kind of like a tortilla chip. So open the Play Store. Now at your school district, the app might show up right here on the first screen. You might see whiteboard. So you're just going to open it and install it. If you don't see it here, go to the hamburger menu on the top left corner and you're going to see an option called My School Apps. This is going to give us a list of apps that are installed and not installed. So you'll see here, I have a section called installed because uh, I already have whiteboard installed. If you don't see it in your installed section, then go to library and it should show up in here. And then you'll see an install button next to it. So should be installed, go ahead and open it. If it's not, go to the uh, Play Store, which is the Dorito, look for it in the installed list or the library and go ahead and get it installed. So now that we have whiteboard, we're gonna open it. So just touch it, remember using our hand as the mouse, and just click and open it. Now, uh, my version of Whiteboard is already activated. If you get an activation notification, it'll be down here in the bottom right corner. Just click activate. You'll see two options, one for user and one for entity. Just choose user and type in your email. It should activate the software. So now that we have this open, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward to use. Uh, this is called the canvas. So if I touch with my hand, it's gonna write, it's gonna annotate. Uh, right now I'm on the black pen, which you can see down here. So this bar at the bottom, right above our shelf, this is called the main toolbar. If I wanna move the main toolbar, that's what this icon there is for. It looks like directional arrows kind of facing away from each other. So by default, it's in the bottom middle, but if I wanna drag this toolbar over to the right, I can drag it there or I can place it over on the left, whatever is convenient for you. So as I mentioned, we can just touch and write. Also remember from earlier, I said that uh, the board is multi-touch. That also works here. So again, you can have multiple students uh, writing at once. I'll just use both my hands there to demonstrate. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Again, this is the pen tool that I'm using, which is down here to write and annotate. Now, if you wanna change your pen color, all you have to do is touch that pen icon again. That'll pull up the pen menu. For example, if you wanna choose blue, or if you wanna change the line thickness, you can drag that slider there. You'll notice that there's other tools you can use, like the highlighter. So feel free to switch and play around with those. Now, if we wanna erase this, cause we have a lot that's going on, use the eraser tool. So you'll see right next to the pen, the eraser, the eraser, touch it once to activate it, just turns on a kind of medium sized eraser. You can then touch on the board to erase. Just like before, if you wanna get uh, into the settings of the eraser, touch it again. So this is a common theme in the My Viewboard whiteboard software is touch a tool once to activate it, touch it again to open the menu. So if I touch the eraser again, you'll see how I have my eraser menu. I can adjust the slider. This makes my eraser bigger. Right, so it's instead of that medium size, I have a lot larger size and I can just move that around to erase stuff. Or if you just wanna wipe out the entire canvas, that's what the trash can does. Let's go back to my pen. Next to the eraser are the shapes. So if I need to draw a shape, again, touch it once, that's gonna activate the rectangle, touch it again it'll open up my shape menu. So I can choose different colors. These are 2D shapes. Don't forget that this slider is to change the line thickness. There's also 3D shapes. So if I touch there, you can see there are 3D shapes. Or if you wanna draw straight lines or arrows, that's what that menu is for. Now this part's a little bit confusing sometimes uh, for some people in order to draw shapes because again, you're getting used to using your hand as the mouse. So if I wanna draw this cube, let's go ahead and choose red as our color. The way that you draw this shape is you actually touch and drag. It's kind of like if you were clicking and dragging with your mouse. So watch, if I touch and drag on the canvas, you'll see that I could start drawing my shape. 
And then when I let go, it'll actually place the shape on the canvas. Sometimes people want to like try to drag the shape out. That's not going to work. Or if you just tap it, it's not going to draw. Remember it's a touch and drag. So I'm making contact with the board the entire time. Finally, if you want to type instead of write, you'll see that there's a T. This is called the text editor. So when I touch that and then touch somewhere on the canvas, it's going to open up this window. This is going to let me type. I can change my font if I want to. I can also change the size. There's my on-screen keyboard from earlier. So if I want to type lesson like this, I can type lesson. If I'm finished, just touch the X on the text editor and then that's going to place the text on the canvas. So what we call these, these are the basic tools, all right? So these are just basic whiteboarding, right? We're doing this just on a blank canvas, typing, writing, erasing, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. But once our page gets filled up like this, how do we make a new page? Well, that icon is actually down here on the left. It looks like a piece of paper with a plus icon on it. It's actually in this small toolbar here. This is actually called the floating toolbar. You can tell it's different than the main toolbar. The floating toolbar contains kind of that page navigation stuff. So if I touch that piece of paper, that's going to give me a new blank page. This down here, this is my page manager. And the manager lets me see all my pages together. So if I touch that, I get like a PowerPoint type preview. You can see here that it popped up behind me. So I can see all my pages in order. It also gives me the number two, which tells me that I'm on page two. And if I want to go forwards and backwards between pages, that's what those arrows are for. So if I touch back, that'll take me back to the previous page. Or if I touch forward, that takes me forward a page. Let's make a new blank page here. Now, the next thing you might want to know how to do is how to change the background. So you'll see down here in the bottom left corner, little icon that looks like mountains. This is your backgrounds menu. So when you click on that or touch that, it's going to open up this page. By default, it goes to the color canvas, meaning I can just change the solid color of my background. So if I want it to be blue or green or yellow, I can choose any of those colors. If I touch the plus icon, these are like my advanced colors, right? So if I kind of wanted a teal, I can set that there. The other kinds of backgrounds that you uh, probably want to explore are what we call our original content backgrounds. So you'll see that there's an icon that looks like uh, a whiteboard with a red my cloud on it. If you click on this, it's going to open up this window and you'll see that I can filter or choose by subject. So by default, it's on arts and humanities. But if I click that arrow, I can choose other categories. So for example, uh, if I want worksheets, I can go to the worksheet section. Now to scroll through this, you just kind of touch and drag like you were scrolling through your phone. Uh, but a lot of these backgrounds can be helpful. For example, if you need anything kind of calendars or tracing paper or line paper, those kinds of things, they're in this section. And if I want to apply that background, what I do is I touch the image. It'll ask me if I want to apply it to all pages or this page. If you choose apply to all pages, it's going to be every page in your presentation. So I definitely recommend choosing this page only. And then that's going to set that background image for you. If you're looking for something like graph paper, this part's a little confusing because there is a math section. So you might think, oh, math, that's where graph paper is. Actually, math is in the grid section. Same thing, just touch and scroll. Choose the image you want to use for your graph paper. Choose this page, and then it will apply that as your background. Now, what we've explored here today are just the basics, right? Remember down here? Pen, eraser, text editor, shapes. These are your basic annotation tools. If you need to make new pages or control your pages, right? That was all your page management down there. Or if you want to apply backgrounds, that's over here in the far left corner. So if you were following along with me, great. If you haven't done this yet, go over to your board, uh, try these three things, get comfortable with them. They'll be very useful as we progress and you go into the next section.